there. Probably be editing a lot out of this video. Otherwise, it's going to be super long. All right, so positive wire goes to this. And what I'm going to do is just put some electric liquid tape over it and uh, then when I get the new charging port I'll again. Alright, that's the positive. So, negative here. If I put the negative on here and turn the switch on. Alright. I soldered it on backwards, didn't I? This LED. After all that dinking around, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, I did. After all that dinked around, I soldered it on backwards. See that electrical tape, too? It works pretty good because you can... It's not so thick that you can't just scrape it off. Right? So, really, <coughs> it'll, it'll protect in there, but if it gets banged too much, it's not going to protect all that well. Unless you get a thick coat on there that's... Oh, now I'm making a mess. Yeah, I'm making a mess. Black tar. Wipe this one off. I think it's the heat that, you know, I don't know. All I know is I, I've had good luck with that stuff. All right, now, on, flip it off, and it's off. All right, so this has got to go down. Would have worked better if I had waited until I got it in position before I put that stuff on there. I got to wiped it all off anyway now. I wiped it all off anyway. That's all right. I'll, I got more. <laughs> I got more in the jar. Yet. Right. I'm not going to put any more on until I get everything positioned where I want. Alright, so now this positive wire goes to that positive over there, and this negative goes to the negative over there. Goes up to the negative there, and the negative on the motor. Let's hook that up first. My coffee is probably cold. Yep. And this 
this light goes in, in here underneath that. So that gotta move this over closer. This positive has got to go on. This positive has got to go over here too. Goes to there. All right, I'm going to put a heat shrink around those. If I've got one big enough. That's the hot wire to the coil with the resistors in there stacked up in parallel. When you uh, put resistors in parallel, they you would think that they, it would uh, lower the resistance, but it actually increases the resistance. So I have enough in there to increase the resistance to what the value that I needed for my coil. Come on, slide over that. All right. clip this off it doesn't need, need to be that long just want to go over that um, resistor pack here like that where's my little lighter my little lighter torch it's laying here somewhere hmm See it? <laughs> See it anywhere? big one I guess. I don't like using this big one for this because it's too hot. I'll find it now. <laughs> That's usually the way things go, you know. <clears throat> Got it all soldered together. Works like it's supposed to, but do you see a major flaw in it? <laughs> I do. I didn't go through the box hole. <laughs> that means I need to unsolder it and bring it all through here. Um, some of it I won't have to unsolder. Like, well, the only thing I'll have to unsolder is the switch. Because I can't get that switch through that hole. So, I'll have to unsolder it here and here. And from the die out in order to get it. Ah, oh, what a dummy. <laughs> so I'm going to break away and uh, unsolder those. Come through the hole the way it's supposed to. I'm going to show, well, I'll show you how, how if it works right now. Look at this. Oh, I can't get the switch back into the hole right now. But put this back into there. I'll have to uh, drill that hole, open this hole up a little bit for the, for the LED for the um, timing. This, I got this unplugged, so I need to plug this back in. Plug that back in. Put the light back in that hole. You know, it doesn't slide in far enough to... Uh, 
to uh, stay in position the LED for the for the timing so Turn the light on. Get this around over here before I turn the switch on. All right. What is going on here? Oh, I didn't have it plugged in all the way, you dummy. So there's, and then I have a spark plug hooked up on the top there. Because you'll kill it if you don't have a some place for that current to go. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't need to unsolder that because that's... And... You do not need to. I'm going to unplug this before I burn something out. Okay. And this, I'm waiting for. I'm going to wait for uh, my ports to come in. I might have to order them from somewhere else in the U.S. instead of. China to get them because, like I say, I think they've banned or blocked all imports from China due to the virus. <clears throat> it's going to be like the swine flu. We're going to all line up, go get a shot. And so I remember, I remember doing that. I went and got the shot. <laughs> so I need to unsolder this, this, and the LED. So how confusing! Darn it! I knew I, I knew I had to go through there. It just that because I, I remembered to go through this. But oh well. I guess it's the closer I get to the actual, I still got a tank, gas tank to make too, so. But I was thinking about maybe just using something temporary. I should have a temporary tank here for the, for this kind of thing. So, but anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna cut away, do some unsoldering. Catch you later. Okay, I have the plate in there and uh, all wired up. So if I turn it on, I got the spark plug hooked up here. If I turn it on, rotate that around. You should be, oh, you can't see it. There we go. And uh, if, so what's left on the motor itself is to set that, but I won't do that. I'll turn this off uh, after, until after I put a head gasket in. I haven't put a head gasket in this yet. I got to put the head gasket in, set the push rod length after that, make sure the cam is in the right position, and then get the timing for uh, the timing disc here for the ignition. If, close to the right position because then I can adjust it from there and that's it and then a gas tank and I'm, I'm about to work on the gas tank 
I was thinking about trying to put some kind of latches, maybe a half turn latch or something, two of them and then one. Or I was thinking maybe a couple hinges on one side and just flip it up and then just one latch. I gotta think about that. Uh, the ignition plate itself here, I'm gonna attach that with, I'm not gonna put the screws in the, in the corners. I'm going to attach that with uh, mounting adhesive on the back side so, so I don't have any screws in it. Um, the only thing left there is the charging port but it'll work until the battery's dead and then I'll have to take the battery out and charge it. I'd lift it up and show you but it's, it's well, there's, there's quite a few wires in there. and. Uh, Everything looks like it's in the right spots and everything. So, I'm about to work on the fuel tank. So, and I'm over on the lathe. Let's see if I can get you over there without crashing into a, a bunch of stuff here. <laughs> All right. So, what I have here, I went to Menards, got an inch and a quarter uh, splice fitting. It's this is for splicing two inch and a quarter pipes together and I'm going to do this tank a little different than I normally do instead of setting it like that I'm going to set it like that up and down so I want to cut this off and then take a light turn on it to clean it all up deburr it and then I'm going to solder a, a plate or something on the end with maybe two or three uh, screw holes to mount it down and then uh, the top plate and put a flat plate on the on the top with a filler hole in it and I'll put my uh, gas fitting in coming in the side here and that'll come in the side and it'll have a hook in the outside and it'll be just slightly off the bottom of the of the tank so so right now, I'm uh, switching out, going to put the chuck in there, because my feisty collets don't go that big. They do not go that big. The biggest one I have is an inch. Okay. So I'll knock the, knock the feisty collet adapter out of there. Just an aluminum bar that I use in the backside. side. 